And now, World Vision Day interview. World Vision Day is a prophetic utterance was given to our Bishop Dr. K.D. Collins, where every believer is a preacher, where we go all across the world on one day, one hour, in one accord, preaching the word of God, telling the world that Jesus is about to return and they are to repent and give their lives to Jesus. World Vision Day is where believers across the country go out in their the streets, in their town, in their countries, in their villages and preach the gospel, preach the coming of Jesus Christ and to believe that He is real, He is Lord over li our lives. It is a day that we go out as believers, all believers across the world, we go out and we witness and we preach the coming of Jesus Christ to the world to win souls for the kingdom of God. To me, World Vision Day, wow, it's a life-changing word from God. Amen. It's the mobilization of what the Bible speaks of, even in St. Matthew 28, where it says we must go into the world and preach the gospel. It's the actual manifestation, the manifestation of this particular word. Amen. When the word came, amen, as a layman, I preach in the streets in New York, where I'm from, but after traveling, all over the world, amen. My life as a Christian have become more meaningful and closer to God, because now you know, you know, it, you know, I can go on and on. It's, it's a ton, tons of stuff, you know, since I've, I mean, God just opened up doors where I can travel now for minimal price. I went to Madrid to preach the gospel for $39. You know, this was first class. You know what I'm saying? God opened that door since the world came. You know what I'm saying? I, I worked for, at the airport for years and that was never the case. And since God spoke the word and we took all of it, amen, one, one trip to uh, Belize to preach the gospel, amen, just by, you know, hearing the word from God, from our presiding bishop, and taking up the mantle and saying, you know, I want to be a part of this. You know what I'm saying? And I decided to go to Belize. My entire trip was paid for. You know what I'm saying? So God is opening up doors and you can see the hand of God, you know, when you, when you preach in the deep, you know, amen. World Vision Day to me is a, an event, actually. Um, what we do in a day is something that impacts the world for years to come. So what we do actually in that one hour is something that's gonna affect our children, our children's children, and so on and so forth. And it, it's the core verses uh, John 3, 16, where in actuality that verse has been translated in 1100 different languages. So when we say World Vision Day, that's World Vision Day for you. Uh, world Vision Day is a day where every believer from across the world come together and we go out into the street and we tell, uh, we tell people about the coming of the Lord and basically also try to draw other people, other Christians, uh, to come and join in um, for what God is doing in this specific time that we are in. Wow, World Vision Day is a mighty revelation that you know, God God has given to his church in this time. And I, I, I really call it an answer to the world. This is what the world needs, where every believer has the opportunity to, you know, arise and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you might be in the church and you might not have a, a title, right? You might not be uh, called a minister or a deacon or an elder, but God has called his children as, as, as preachers. And so it's just a mighty opportunity for, you know, every believer, whether you're black, you're white, whether you just got saved or not, for us to rise up together and to declare Jesus Christ as Lord. As a matter of fact, in, in, in the book of Acts, when before Jesus Christ left the earth, Jesus Christ told, you know, his disciples to go into all the world and to preach this gospel. The Bible said that they were scattered. As a matter of fact, Jesus's last words before he left the earth was that we should go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is a revelation from the Lord um, for every believer to gather together, uh, just like the day of Pentecost, you know, to be on one accord, to be one voice uh, to the world. Um, and storm the streets, preaching the gospel, prophesying, you know, and um, winning souls. Have I traveled? My God, where did I go? 
Yes, I've been across the world. I've traveled like I can never imagine I would have been able to travel. I went to Australia. I went to New Zealand. I went to Belize. I went to Guatemala. I went to England. I went, I've just been all over. It's exciting time, people. If you get this whole of this vision, run with it because I'm telling you, you will never be the same. I've traveled to Europe. I've traveled to South Africa, to Botswana, to uh, Swaziland, to uh, Lesotho. And it was such an awesome feeling and a blessing to be there. I have traveled to St. Lucia, Singapore, Hong Kong, the Philippines, um, Jamaica. Cayman Islands. Um, I've traveled quite to quite a few uh, places for World Vision Day. You know, I would like to just travel the whole globe to preaching the gospel. World Vision Day is very impactful because what it does is that it brings other people out of their shell. Uh, yesterday was my first day preaching for one hour. It took me 20 minutes to get started because I was nervous, but once I started, I couldn't stop, and I'm back here again with the team. Um, so, you know, you can have a believer that would like to go out into the street and preach. And um, what World Vision Day does is basically bring out that person um, and, and give them that boldness to basically go out into the street and preach the gospel. So I believe that World Vision Day is impactful in a way that others can see what's being done and actually say, hey, you know, I can do the same thing. You can overcome shyness because I was one of that person. I was very shy, and as I go out and I and I start to look at others preaching, other believers preaching, I was encouraged and I was able to preach. I can witness and I can share the gospel with Jesus Christ. It's important that we get the word of God out to all souls, um, just to reach the world, because we know that the end will not come until the world the world has heard. Uh, the Word of God. So it must be preached to the world, then will the end come. Bottom line is that if, if people don't hear of God, there are many people so, all across the world that have not heard of Jesus Christ or have not heard of His Word and what Christianity truly means. And so it's very important that we go out and we share the Gospel, we share the Word of Jesus Christ with them so that they know. No one can ever say that they have never heard of the Word and they, they were not warned. In advance. The Bible says that this word must be preached throughout the earth and then the end shall come. And we know that we're looking at the signs of the time right now wherein that the end is fast approaching. So we must go. We must go into the world and carry this word and let man know that Jesus is still in the saving business. Get on board. Challenges with a different language. Well, there was minimal challenges because now you have applications that you can download and just speak into the, the app your English language and it will come out that particular country's language. We are from New York City, we are to tell everyone about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one Ah, okay. Ah. For leaders who are afraid to send their saints out, their members out to preach, you know, I would say to you that in Joel 2 and verse 28, the Bible says that in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And the Bible says your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. If you notice in the scripture, you know, it did not say pastors. It did not say priests. It did not say bishops. Um, so preaching is for all saints and preaching is one method of, you know, prophesying. And so, you know, I would encourage you you know, if you want your church to grow, if you want souls to be saved, you know, to encourage the saints to go out, number one, it will build them up spiritually. Um, number two is that your church will grow and it will take, you know, the burden off of you as a leader and off, you know, the other leaders within the church to ev evangelize. I would let them know that um, they're according to the word of God, they're, it's, Every believer is, is obligated to go out on the streets and preach the gospel. We have so many scriptures in the Bible where um, God says that we have to go out into the world and preach the gospel. Well, um, with being on the mission field, it's, it's the people that receive it, it's, they're so hungry that when they hear it, it's, it's new to them because no one has really 
done this apart from our ministry um, before now. So it, it kind of like they draw to it and they take it and they run with it. So it's important that we share it because other churches, other believers draw to it. Maybe it's something that they have not done in their ministries. Okay, so if you're um, interested in imparting World Vision Day to other churches, and you should be, right? So as you, there, there are many ways in which you can do this. So as we go out on the street, um, in our experience here in Harvest Army, we have met other, you know, fellow Christians. We've met other leaders from other churches, other pastors. And while we're there on the street, we tell them about World Vision Day. We have different resources. We have pamphlets about World Vision Day. We actually have a World Vision Day website um, that you can actually point people to. It gives you, there's so much wealth of information um, on that website. You can see video clips of past World Vision Day. You can get all the details, you know, of what World Vision Day is about, how to preach and how to be a witness in this end time. It's not a fad. It's not something that just started. No, this is gonna shake the world.